Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 8th of April and it's uh, 7.40 in the evening. Right, today's video, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen for a change, which usually means I'm going to be tinkering with computers, but not in today's video. I am going to be possibly setting that up. I won't know until I've actually emptied everything out of it. Um, but yeah, this is my stepdad's fault. He made me do it. Because <laughs> this morning I went with him to uh, pick up a fish tank that he bought. Lovely corner fish tanks designed to actually go in a corner. Um, he needs to build a stand for it. But you got all the filters, all the lights, all the pumps and whatnot with it. All for 40 quid actually. I think it was worth a bit more than that, but hey ho. Um, and he asked if I would do that yesterday. And he asked me yesterday if I would go with him to do that. Um, and last night, I was just browsing Marketplace like I do. I like to do that every once in a while, see what I can see. And literally, I found this within minutes of it being posted. And it was just down the road here, actually. Um, about a half mile. <laughs> and uh, it was free. So, and it's got everything with it, including a brand new filter pump. Brand new one. That was thrown in as well for free. Uh, we've got some plastic plants for ornament in there. We've got some substrate in the bottom. Sort of like blues and turquoisey greens and things. Light isn't integrated in the lid. Even got a heater, which looks in very good condition. Um... I think it's got the air pump there as well, so I need at least three plugs. Four plugs, because I don't think there's one of those in there. And that's just what that is right at the bottom, which I think it is from the looks of it. Well, it doesn't look like we've got an air pump. So I might have to get one of them. <laughs> But uh, at least I can get most of it set up. I don't know whether to fill it with water now. And get the heater going and whatnot. And then when I can get down to the um, aquatics place in town on Monday, I could probably get some bits that I need. It's not going to be cheap in there, but nowhere else that will do it. Every once in a while, Lidl's get some fish tank bits and bobs in. In fact, I've got a feeling that is a Lidl's fish tank. Possibly, I'm not sure, I can't remember what their brand is. Anywho, while I had a sort out here and whatnot, and get this corner cleared, I was just going to have a little chat as well. And I have actually got, I don't think I'll get to it in this video, on account of I think it's going to take too long just to get through all oh, this. There's a big bag of uh, vintage die cuts and there's some lovely models in here as well. So I'm going to do these in a video. I'm going to record that right after this so if the time and date sound similar or the same. Well, the date will sound the same. So that will be why. Um, I've also got a couple of laptops to show you which I might show in this video. I might do it in the next video because I don't think I'm actually going to fill this up. I think I'll wait until I can get to the um, Aquatics play Angel Aquatics, that's it. I'm just trying to think of the name. And uh, I'll just see if I can get a little cheap air pump or something. And actually see what sort of uh, tropical fish they've got. I don't want a great deal of fish in there, do I? I'm going to need the fish food as well, but I could get the fish food when I get the fish. Right, anyway, let's get this corner cleared, shall we? And have a bit of a chat while I'm at it. So, uh, <laughs> last week, Wednesday actually, I had an electrician here um, doing some work that a previous electrician from actually exactly a month ago, the 6th of. March he was here. What they're doing. Now, I will explain. 
So, this all started when Victory Homes decided to um, change my tenancy because I was on what they call a short hold tenancy where it's reviewed every six months and so long as everything's fine it, you know, renews itself or renews automatically. Um, so as long as you're not racking up rent arrears or you're not, um, you know, being a troublesome tenant, everything is fine. And I've been on that to tenancy for 13 and a half years. Because um, they first put me on that about six months after I moved in here because I racked up rent arrears. Which was, it's basically just caused by some miscommunication, that's all. But as always, you as a tenant end up footing the bill. <laughs> the bill just gets passed on. Anyway, bottom line is that is all cleared and paid off now. Has been for at least a year actually, at least. I think it's a bit longer than that. Um, but anyway, because of that, Victory have now put me on, um, I can't remember what they call the more permanent tenancy, um, which is reviewed every five years. Uh, I can't remember what I bloody call it now. I'm trying to think of that for days actually, I still haven't thought of it. Uh, so yeah, because they've done that, they wanted a check done on the electrics in the flat. So that's what the first electrician was here, but he couldn't do any of the remedial work because uh, he didn't have his van so he didn't have his you know his spare bits and bobs and tools and whatnot he literally <laughs> he literally come up here with just his mega as they call it his test machine and um, I think a couple of screwdrivers and his paperwork and a pen and that was it that's all he had on him <laughs> um, hence why I have an electrician here yeah, last Wednesday um, doing the remedial work it was all small stuff, apart from one job, which is a big job, which um, they want doing. I don't know why they just don't do all of them at the same time, because they all need it, but uh, actually there's two big jobs. The electrician that was here Wednesday wants to change my consumer unit, or fuse box if you're old school, because it's overcrowded. He wants to sort that out, because he actually found one breaker has four circuits connected. And there's another one in there, another breaker, that's got three connected to it. And depending on what they are, I personally wouldn't have a problem with it. It just depends on what circuit is connected. Um, yeah, anyway. But the other job is replacing this, what they call a sub-main, which is downstairs in the meter cupboard. Because for some reason they didn't put the meters in each flat with you know, your consumer unit, which is what they do in houses. Or actually they might put the meter in a little box outside on some modern houses. Uh, anyway, it's downstairs in a cupboard and the sub mains, which is just basically a gigantic on-off switch, when I say gigantic, box is about this big, about that wide and about that deep. All metal, because it's original to the building. Um, with a big ass ceramic fuse and I have no idea what the average is when they change that I'm going to ask if I can actually uh, keep that as part of my collection because that would be such a rare piece to have now um, yeah anyway so um, I want to do that but he realised a problem in fact there's two things that's going to make it awkward one Mine's at the top, there's six of them in total. Well, seven if you count the one for the communal electrics. So there's actually seven incoming fuses as well on the incoming mains. Um, so the first problem is because they actually use their sense, you know, the ground floor flats are the bottom two. And then you've got your first floor above them. And then you've got top floor, which is me and my neighbour, above them. So ours are at the top. But it's in a very awkward spot to get to because of the cupboard door. The cupboard door sort of partially covers mine. Which means there's really not a lot of hand room for screwdrivers and things. It's doable, it's just awkward. And then he noticed, you know, he's got to pull the incomer mains fuse. Which you've actually got to get permission for from the, um, 
the electrical company, which would be UK Power Networks, you'd have to contact them and get permission from them to pull it. Because um, even electricians can't just pull the uh, mains fuse like that. Um, and everything up here would actually have to be off just to prevent every, you know prevent that fuse from arcing when he puts it back in. Because if there's a load when he puts it in, it's going to create a big arc. Anywho, the problem is you've got the incoming mains coming up from the floor and it's split between seven fuses, so the six flats and the communal electrics. <laughs> They're not numbered or marked. So he's literally got to try and chase the tails down to that fuse. Um, which isn't going to be too easy or too difficult because there should only be three pairs for that side. But you know, it's just adding more complication to it. Um, he was meant to do that a Wednesday when he was here, but he did arrive quite late, I think later than planned, because he was on a job first thing. I mean, I got a message the day before, it was left on my answer phone, saying we'd be sort of anywhere between 10, maybe 11 o'clock, because he had a job at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm guessing, you know, depending on what time he actually got to job, it may not have been 8 o'clock, it might have been 8.30. And then you can never tell how long a job is actually going to run on for. So, but anyway, he got here about twelve o'clock, I think. But you know, by the time he'd done all the smaller stuff around the flat, he wouldn't have had time to do the sub main downstairs because um, I think it was about two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon by the time he'd done. So it's all booked in for the twenty eighth including changing that fuse box. I might have to squeeze past you in a minute to get another can. I've done more chatting than cleaning, haven't I? <laughs> now, get these three screws. I've got three screws here and I don't know what they're for. Well, they are very small self-tappers. Uh, I haven't got my box yet. I've got a box of assorted screws that I've taken out of, you know, radios and whatever else I've taken apart. Because I actually find, when you're tinkering around with stuff, having a such box of assorted screws is actually quite handy. I'm going to you know, chuck one on the floor. There's one gone then. <laughs> I'd love to know what four circuits are on one breaker in there. This is a one bedroom flat. And I've actually got 11 breakers in there and two RCDs because it's a split supply. Which is actually quite out of date now in itself. They don't do that these days. These days you'll find they actually use those, um, I can't remember what they call them, but they're a combination of an RCD and an MCB. So. You know, an RCD device and just an ordinary circuit breaker. Combination of both. Which means you don't need separate RCDs like I've got. And it also means when your RCD blows, it only takes out that one circuit, not the whole lot that's covered by that RCD. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of bonuses to doing it that way. And that's what he wants to do in this um, fuse box. Plus that one's plastic. And uh, which is, it's fine because it meets the code that it was um, when it was installed. In Japan is how a lot of electricians will work. You know they'll see, make sure it meets the code. You know that was there when it was installed. But modern ones, metal. Gone back to metal. They started off as metal and they went to Bakelite. I think I have actually got a Bakelite one. Uh, downstairs, if I remember rightly, in my box of bits in the shed. Um, then plastic, and I had plastic for years. I had to go back to metal again because they're more fire resistant. And I was like, duh. <laughs> Why did you go make them plastic in the first place? Oh, that's right, because they were cheap. Now you've discovered they catch fire. I have actually seen videos on YouTube because I follow some electricians on YouTube. A few times I've seen them where they've had to attend a fuse box that's caught fire and melted all the box. 
for that reason. It's what I've gone back to middle. <laughs> right. Getting there. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this lot yet. Is that a power cable? That is indeed. I am going to need an extension strip because I think by the time I'm done and I've got that uh, air pump, I'm going to need four sockets at least. I've only got a double up here. I don't really want to piss ass around putting in another one. I'm not really in the mood for adding sockets. Speaking of adding stuff, and the fact that they've got multiple circuits on one circuit breaker in my uh, fuse box, I did do that at Mum's when we were um, putting the utility room together. But, what I did at Mum's, I don't think is that, well I'm pretty certain it's not going to be an issue. Um, obviously needed a light in there, and they just had all the fuse boxes moved into the utility room from the kitchen. Um, so I figured the easiest option, because it would just be an utter bastard to... Uh, feed a cable into the house, into the loft and, you know, loop off of the existing lighting circuit if I could actually find which light was the last one on that circuit so I could loop from it. So what I did, I just ran the cable straight into the fuse box and doubled up on the lighting breaker. Uh, and in my mind, whether if I connected that, it's only one light, keep in mind, I haven't added anything else onto that. Just a single light. Um, so whether if I connected that, you know, looped off of another light in the attic or connected it straight to that breaker like I've done, still going to be pulling the same amount of current, whichever way I did it. Um, and again, if it came to fault finding, and I wanted to know if that light was the problem, I'd just pull one wire out. <laughs> There's only two wires to choose from, so it wouldn't be difficult to fault find whether it's actually in the house or if it's the utility room light that would be, you know, as being problematic. No. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I don't like doing that myself. But like I said, I sort of calculated things and thought, no, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I, I have seen qualified electricians, you know, double up on some circuit breakers myself, like on YouTube. They do do it sometimes. Um, but it's like a socket on the socket, your ring main breaker, you know, or your radial breaker if you've got radial circuit. You see, speaking of, <laughs> while we're still on the subject of electrics, the bedroom. If they add the sockets in the bedroom onto the ring main in the flat, it'd be quite a lot of work, but it is possible, they could actually get rid of two of the 11 circuit breakers in that fuse box. I don't know why, but obviously when this flat was rewired at some point in the past, before I even moved in here, as I've said in videos before when I've mentioned about the sockets, the socket, as you stand in my bedroom doorway there, the socket on the left, has its own circuit breaker. It was on its own circuit breaker for some reason, 16 amp. And then I discovered, because I nearly got an electric shock, that the socket that's on the right hand wall also has its very own 16 amp breaker. Which is why I was quite happy to add those sockets that I added on, because I'm just extending the radial. You know, there's only one socket on it, so another couple wasn't going to hurt on that radial. Um, so yes, it would require getting up in the loft. I think the keys have been lost because I've seen a lot of contractors go up there and they just unscrew the locks. <laughs> but yeah, if they went up there and just um, fed a couple of new 2.5s down, they could easily put those on the existing ring main, which they should have been on in the first place, in my opinion, when that was rewired in the past. And that would move or get rid of those two 16 amp breakers. 
you know, I don't understand at all why I've got 11 breakers in there. Like I said, this is only a little one bedroom flat. Lounge, kitchen, bathroom, hallway, bedroom, that is it. I don't have a central heating system in there. I've got the heating control up there. Um, I do have the electric immersion in the water boiler. But that is actually fired, you know, from the communal gas. But uh, I assume they keep the electric there just in case that goes down, which it does sometimes. Not as much since they refitted the whole lot. They refurbished that whole boiler room um, a few years ago and it's barely ever gone down. But before that, that was breaking down on a regular basis, which is probably why they um, redid it all. Because I probably thought it was going to be more cost effective doing that than repairing it every 10 minutes. And the stuff was quite old in there, so it was probably getting hard, harder and harder to get the spares. <clears throat> so there would be a breaker for that, for the immersion. I think there is one for the controller. The heat and controller. And that switch, all it does for the communal heating, even though it's fired by the communal boiler, the incoming heating main, I suppose you'd call it, has an electronic valve on it. And that's all that heating clock does. It just opens and closes that. Which allows each flat, you know, to turn the heating on in the flat as and when they want. And off as and when they want. Took me a few years before I realised how it worked, though. Anywho, um, let's get some more crap cleared from this corner. Then I will probably bring you a bit closer so we can... Just go through this and empty it out and just see if there is anything else. I mean there could be a um, an air pump in there somewhere that I can't see but I don't think so. I'm just going to lay some of this over here and lay them on the Hot Wheels cars actually. I've actually got an LED bulkhead light, you know, similar to what they would put in a bathroom. And cheap sort of round ones, like the double D tubes. Well, they are basically a replacement for the double D tube version. Which, as much as I do actually like fluorescent lighting, I hated those. They just didn't seem to last. At least they never did with Mum. When she lived down the road here, for three years, she replaced one in the bathroom every year, one a year. I'd been here 13 and a half years and I'd never once replaced the one in my bathroom. In fact, when I changed mine for an LED fitting, it was still working fine. So, I don't know, maybe because mum uses or used her bathroom light a lot more. And they've actually just fitted uh, two LED downlighters in Mum's bathroom. My mum and stepdad were questioning whether if two would be enough in their little bathroom. It's more than enough. But he, I did get him to get the proper fire rated um, LED downlighters as well. They're in there. They light the bathroom up perfectly fine. So. <clears throat> I'm going to get this keyboard up there. We're about to find out. Yep. Magnifying glass. I'm going to put that in this part of crap here. Just because I keep losing it. What else have I got there? Let me see. Not quite sure what that USB cable is for. It's got an older connector on the end of it though. Put that there, put that there. I can't be bothered to get the box out. Oh, and I do need to go into my box of cables because my little brother asked if um, I had a PS2 thingy cable. Spare, and I have actually got a couple up there, so I'm going to check. 
uh, get it down, take a photo of it and send it to him, just check it is the right one and I'll post it out to him during the week. It'll be Tuesday, I think. This is Bank Holiday Monday, so no airs open. What's this? What's the date on that? And that one I'm going to need for my repeat prescriptions. And we've got some matchboxes for my scrap bin. So that can go over here because that can go in the scrap box. I want to get back into restoring them, which is why I've uh, been collecting some scrap up. Just for the parts. I mean, that one's actually had its roof chopped, but it's still got good wheels and a decent interior from the looks of it, and uh, a good pair of doors because it's got opening doors on it. In fact, I think it's quite surprising that both doors are still there. Not being pulled off. Right, I think the last. Well, if that light bulb was any good, it's not any good now. I very much doubt it'll be any good now. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a refrigerator bulb. Mm. Can't tell much. I just put a new um, refrigerator bulb in my friend's fridge. The, little, the fridge was actually a gift for me and my mum. We found it for him. And uh, the bulb, the light didn't work. So I went and bought a couple of packs of bulbs for it and uh, changed it for him. It's just nice to have a light in a fridge and see what you're doing. Right. I've got an old towel or something I can just wipe that over with. Yeah, I've got a dirty one here, that'll do. Hmm. I was wondering if I should move the toaster over here somewhere. Or perhaps put it on top of the microwave and plug it into that socket. I'm going to shift the two laptops off of them. I've got a bloody splinter right in here. I'll get that out there at some point. Right. Uh, I do want to get another can of cola, so... Or Pepsi, I should say. I'm going to move you for a second. Grab one out the bag. Uh, my best friend who does a lot of uh, streaming on Twitch, Wolfie is his Twitch name, Wolfie30 I think, if I remember rightly. Um, <laughs> he actually gave up tonight and turned it all off because uh, apparently no one was watching, everyone left. He's been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider and he's been going, or playing the Tomb Raider games on a harder setting because he's completed them all on, a, on the easier settings. Just thought he, you know, for a challenge, he'd put on the harder ones. Um, I couldn't, well, I was going to make it, but he'd already shut everything down because I had to go and pick this up. Before that, I had to go and pick the cars up. And before that, I was in a bath. So, <laughs> yeah, I just didn't get a chance to uh, join, unfortunately. But, so, I would have if he hadn't shut down. I would have... Uh, Joined. Anywho, I want to bring you in a bit closer, didn't I? Yep. Bring your legs in. Oh. Um, my power cables got caught around the guitar amp. There we go. I fell off that guitar amp the other day. That hurt. Because <laughs> it's right in front of the air and cupboard door. I don't know if you can see that. There was a cut somewhere here. Um, without, because I was hanging some um, LED lights up in the hallway that I'd got from a charity shop. Too quick the pair, and I think I only put them out so cheap because I couldn't be bothered to untangle them. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to hang those in the hallway, and I couldn't reach. So I stood on the guitar ramp. What I didn't notice, because I wasn't looking what I was doing, is I stood right on the edge. And the guitar amp just went boop. 
So I fell off and my arm came straight down, straight down the door on top of the door handle and yeah, it did leave a, a bruise. It's a bit worrying when you're on um, blood thinners as well because that can cause problems. It didn't, thankfully. Right. There is a bit of dust on this so it needs to be able to clean. Well, that loop does. Ah. That tank, that lid actually uses a fluorescent light, which surprised me. I thought it was going to be LED. It'd be easy enough to convert it to LED, it wouldn't be difficult. So, we've got a light for that. It doesn't work. You said it worked. Is there a switch on it? Yep. Yeah. Mm, it does work. Simple on off. Nothing special. Right. So that's fine. I might try and just take that off there and give it a clean. What else have we got? We've got a little heater. See, the description didn't actually say what was with it, it just said fish tank free. <laughs> um, so I'm actually pleased, you know, we've got a heater. It'll adjust on the end of it. And it looks like it's got a built-in thermometer as well. Pardon me. And we've got this um, filter pump as well. As well as a brand spanking new one there. But yep, it does not look like we've got an air pump. So there's no substrate here underneath this barrel thing. So I think when I go into the fish shop Monday, I might get a small bag of that just to fill this up. What is this? Do like that. That would be great to put an air stone under there, wouldn't it? And have the bubbles come out the top. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to have to go shopping for an air stone and whatnot. I'll stick that there, put that in. Can we have a gap for the air hose? Yeah, it looks like it. We've got gaps for cables and air hoses and whatnot, so... I am actually thinking, just because that is a used filter, probably still works fine, but I was thinking of actually using the new one. As I'm going to be doing, you know, a fresh setup. What do you guys think? It would be better to use a brand new one. I think so. Ooh, we have pipes. Pipes with a kink in it. That ain't going to be a lot of good. <laughs> so I did have everything to set a tank up, but it was like this big the tank, and I just, in the end, I thought that's a bit too big for what I want. I was just being a bit too uh, ambitious, I think. So that's why I sold it all. With the intent to, uh, you know, get a smaller one. Yeah, ah, I see it's got all the air bubble holes in it, good. On the jets, so that has actually got to stay on the end of that, hasn't it? And that keeps coming off. Yeah, so I'm going to use that one. Uh, it's a shame though, where's open tomorrow? But it is Easter Sunday, so I can let them off. <laughs> Besides, I'm actually going to be over at Mum's tomorrow and whatnot, so. You're in the way. <laughs> you don't care though, do you? Look how big he's got now. Tell you what, I love him to bits. But uh, even though Nemo's been gone, you know, well over a year now, 
every time I talk about him and I want to tell you know someone something stupid that he's gone and done, the first name that comes to mind, in my mind, I don't actually say it out loud, I haven't done that yet, is Nemo. I always want to say, you know, Nemo did this. <laughs> I haven't actually said that out loud, not yet. Um, my mum and stepdad has done that one with um, their current dogs, because of previous dogs they've had. And I have actually done that once. I have actually called them the wrong name. What have we got? Got some fake plantage. Got quite a few fake plantage actually. Yeah, and a rotten barrel. Do. Actually, you know, now that I've spread that around, I don't think we're going to need any substrate. I don't want it too deep down there, do I? Let's just take that out again. Yeah, that's better. Um, I think I'm going to put this right in the middle, that way round. That can go there for the minute. I want to put the air stone in there and see what that looks like. So my plan is to put the air stone in there and the bubbles will come out the top. I hope. Okay. I know these plants are floppy doppy at the minute, but I'm guessing once you've got the water in, they'll, uh, you know, stand up. Up down over the back. Try and uh, bury that in stoneage. I want to fill it with water now, but I suppose I could. It just means I'm going to get a wet arm when I put the uh, doohickey in, aren't I? But for the sake of just, you know, wait until Monday, I might as well just get that stuff in, ready. I want to make sure that heater actually comes on. Hang on. Yep, light comes on so it works. So, hang on a bit, hang on. Where can I put that? Uh, on the back, maybe? On the back wall? Perhaps look through the glass. Suction cups aren't going to work, are they? Might have to put that on when it's full of water then. Uh, that would be the same for this then, wouldn't it? You might be better off waiting until it's full of water. It doesn't bother me getting a wet arm. Turn that. I'm going to put that at the back here, don't I? It might actually stay there, actually, wouldn't it? hoses and whatnot. There we go. Got two of these, got one in the side. There we go. Yeah that's gonna drop off there. Wait until I've got that full of water I think. 
Smudge is watching quite, uh, I'm quite intrigued as to what I'm doing. Okay. Might put the uh, pump that side actually, as I'm going to have the uh, aerator that side. I'm going to be able to plug it in with that on the plug, am I? See a lot of brand new UK plugs, they come with this on. I don't really know what it's for, I suppose just to protect the pins. You always get the wiring card on there. Because believe it or not, you still get brand new items that still come with a rewirable plug. Some appliances in the UK come with a sealed plug. I actually noticed it tends to be things like my microwave actually has one. Vacuum cleaners, washing machines, clothes dryers, that sort of thing. The heavier loaded. Uh, they're there. The appliances that require a heavy, heavier load usually come with a, a sealed plug on. None of these have got sealed plugs on though. Right, so I'm just going to... That's going to be a problem. Is it going to go under there, is it? <laughs> I've just realised. It's going to be too tall, I think, so I might actually have to, uh... Ooh! <laughs> i tell you what. Tint a lot of room in there. <laughs> um, in that case, then, I might actually turn it. Just put it that way. So I've also realised I'm getting access to the lid, aren't I? I'm just going to give that a wipe down if it's dusty. It would go under there, but it would just be a pain. You're not helping. <laughs> It'd just be a pain, you know, trying to drag it out from there just to lift the lid up. Right. I don't really like it at that angle, though. It could move. <laughs> I'd prefer it in the lounge, but I ain't got no way to put it at the minute. So I think I'm actually glad I'm not filling that with water yet, because like I said, that might very well move. Right. I want to actually turn the camera, but the whole tripod moved for some reason. Whew. I'm eager to do the next video, just so I can look through the bag of toy cars there, because I haven't looked. I've literally just seen the photo that he sent me on um, through Facebook Messenger. You know, and I could only see what's on top. And when I got there, there was actually more in this carrier bag as well. And I have no idea what was in that bag before um, we put everything else in there. I mean, it cost me 30 quid, but I think that's worth it for what's in there. Right, yeah. It's a shame that the shelf I've got running down this wall, on the other side of it, in the lounge, um, isn't stronger, because I could have put that on there. I could reinforce it, actually, with some wooden legs, I'm sure my stepdad's got some wood somewhere that I could use. Um, if I could relocate the stereo in the corner of the lounge, that's on top of um, the box that my stepdad made for Nemo. Um, I could perhaps put it on there because there's not a lot of weight. That should take it. I need to have a think. <coughs> Pardon me. Yep, that's what I need to do. I need to have a little think. Because I had wanted that to go under that corner and that, but. I need to get to the lid. Um, 
It's either that or I put it over here where the microwave is. That might look nicer over there, here in the kitchen. Pardon me, put the microwave back over here where it was originally. Funny looks off smudge for making that noise. He's got a thing for paddling in the sink. Every time I run that tap to wash my hands or, you know, wash up something, he's there, straight afterwards, puddling in the water that's left, aren't you? You like puddling in that. At least he can't get to the fish in there with a lid on it like that. I actually quite like the blue as well. I just got to hope I don't leak. I can see a water line. Yeah, I'll be put, I'm surprised it was free actually. I mean, it's got to be worth at least what my stepdad paid for his, and his is like four or five times bigger than that. And he only paid 40 quid for it. Actually, I believe he gave the uh, lady a bit extra because of the uh, all the extra bits that were included with it. I mean, there were a couple of different lights. It did have an old fluorescent light with it, but um, no tubes. It actually stuck LED lights on it, which is pretty much all I'd do with that if that fluorescent tube ever died or if I can't get a replacement one for it. If I actually see any in charity shops, because believe it or not, that's where I've got a lot of my light bulbs from. Charity shops and car boot sales. So if I ever see anything of that type, I might just grab them as spares. I think I might have a couple in a box up here. If I can get it down without breaking anything. <coughs> oh. Well actually I did buy a few bulbs on eBay. I mean that one was a car boot find. Yeah, what um, that light takes. I did see one in here. It's down here. Similar to this one. I don't think this one's going to fit, but it basically takes one with that sort of connector on it. Or at least similar to that. Uh, did I have another one like that, or is that actually the only one I've got? I think that's the only one I've got. But of course, you can't get anything like that now because it's all been banned. You've all got to use LED. Which, in a way, doesn't bother me. I've got nothing wrong with LED lights. All the lighting in this kitchen at the moment is LED. Now I've got some R80 spots up there. I've got, uh, I think they're R63s in these ones. I actually can't remember what the ones are. Basically an LED version of that, which is smaller than the RAs. Uh, what? what are you looking at? My fingers? <laughs> and typically, now I'm hungry. I wasn't hungry when I got went to pick this up. So my original plan was to go and pick this up and uh, get dinner on the way back. Yep, I actually was feeling a bit, uh, a bit unwell for some reason. I don't know why, but I've had a couple of uh, drinks and uh, I've actually been, you know, sorting this out. I feel a hell of a lot better now, and I feel hungry. Um, I just don't know if I'm bothered to go out and get anything. <laughs> Part of me is saying to go and get a USA chicken because I just feel like chicken. <laughs> That's the name of the takeaway place. USA fried chicken. I've actually noticed in Norwich there is one very similarly named to that. So I don't know if it's like, you know, a sister place for it or whatever. So I might actually um, I forgot, yeah, 
may actually go and do that uh, once I've done this video. But, uh, when you see the diecast video, if you think that the uh, date's exactly the same, it's because it's because I've recorded it on the same day. <clears throat> and I smudgy. I don't often do, but um, I have got some other diecasts that I want, wanted to show you as well, so I'll show you those in the same video. I don't even know how many is in there. Diecast laying around all on here. I've got some Mustangs to go in the Mustang box. And I need a bigger box for the Mustangs. Maybe that. That's the leaflet for the new pump. Oh, I want to get that up and running now. I think you're supposed to leave it for at least a week, aren't you, running or something like that? Just to let the water go through all the filter and whatnot and get it heated up if you've got a heater like I have, I will be installing it. But I just don't know what uh, what fish I'm going to put in it yet. And I need to find somewhere I'm happy with it sitting as well. Where do you think I should put it, Smudge? You got any ideas? No? <laughs> you know, unlike Nemo, he's not much of a people person, especially with strangers in the flat. I mean, he's alright with a best friend of mine, because He's over here on a, you know, sort of on a semi-regular basis, so he's gotten used to him. But anyone new, he's quite timid. But he's the sort of cat, you know, that would uh, warm up to you eventually when he's gotten used to you being around. But Nemo, he'd go to anyone. A complete stranger could walk through that door and he'd go straight up to him wanting cuddles. <laughs> He's the only cat I ever came across that was like that. Mm. I think you've gone quiet all of a sudden. Normally you're charging around like a lunatic. <laughs> you burnt up your energy. Do you fancy some chicken as well? He likes tuna. <laughs> I discovered that one. I made myself some tuna sandwiches the other night <clears throat> and uh, I've always mixed it with a little bit of salad cream. Mum always did that for me as a kid and I've loved it ever since. I didn't eat them all, I actually left one on a plate in here and I woke up in the morning, the whole thing had gone. I didn't find any crust, I didn't find any crumbs, he'd eaten the whole thing, bread crust the lot. And for some odd reason, he does seem to like salad cream. You see, Nemo was a fuss pot. He wouldn't eat anything like that. No sauces, no nothing. He seems to eat just about anything. I've got to watch him. He keeps trying to get sugary stuff as well, and I think he bounces around enough without that. I do treat him to a bit of ice cream once in a while. It's only because he won't leave me alone until he gets a bit. Laying like that. He is a going quite a quiet mood now. He was. You know, at the start of the video, actually, when I was doing the first sort of half a dozen takes till I got this video right, I was charging around in here chasing carrier bags and cables and all sorts. I think he's just gotten tired now, haven't you? Mm. I'm tired. If Daddy go get some chicken, are you going to eat it with Daddy? He on, loves chicken. Chicken and tuna. I haven't tried him on cod yet because I've actually not had cod and chips for a while. Or have I? No, scrub that. I have actually had cod and chips once while I've had him. And I can't believe he's about nine. 
10 months old now. <laughs> Look on his face because I did that. He's like, would you F off, Dad? You see, sometimes when you play by it like that, it's not hard. And then other times, he's hard enough to scratch. Ah, your claws digging in, you bastard. You're not in the mood now? Alright, I'm going to leave you alone. <clears throat> That's not to say he's going to leave me alone, but I'm going to leave him alone. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go and get some uh, grub a dub dub. And chill out at the PC for a bit and yeah I think I'll do that video on these die casts because I'm curious and I don't want to look through those before I've done the video <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll tune in to the next one when we will properly set this up during the week I want to get this set up during the week in fact I want to do it Monday so uh yeah, I'll take a little ride across town to the uh, garden centre where the um, where Angel Aquatics is. And just pick up a couple of bits. Uh, yeah, then I suppose Monday I can come back and put the camera back on and we'll set that up. As long as I can actually uh, decide where I want to put it. Uh, I can't even put it in the bedroom, I don't think. Oh, maybe I could. Maybe I could. I really don't know where I want to put it now. Uh, but my table, where I had the Windows 95 PC, that should be strong enough to take the weight of that. I mean, took the weight of that bloody computer, two of them actually. And the CRT monitor, so it should take the weight of that thing on it. <coughs> if it doesn't, it'll just fall on the floor. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to tune in for that. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, there will be links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got a Lego channel, so-called because it's all about the Lego that I have, and a gaming channel where I upload at least three times a week. Although I was late with the uploads twice because I've just been busy and last night I just totally forgot. I don't know how I forgot because I only edited the video to upload it last night. <laughs> I then just forgot to upload it and went to bed. So I did it this morning before I went over to Mum's. Anyway, so feel free to check those out. I've also got a Discord server, which I'll link to in the description below as well. So feel free to check that out. Come and join us, say hi, have a chat. I've got all sorts of uh, channels to talk in on that server. I think I've tried to cover most things, especially as I've got three YouTube channels. I just wanted one server for the log haven't got the will to like manage three different servers and I didn't see the point not when I'm the same person <laughs> I thought I might as well just make related channels on the one server so exactly what I did anyway thanks a lot for watching everyone and I will uh, see you all in the next one bye